Troy's probably more intense than and his intensity is a lot higher and longer than most people's not necessarily a volume standpoint does he do some volume of, of course he does um, I think probably what I took from him was volume is important from a skill acquisition uh, acquisition standpoint you've got to do a lot of reps well and and so if that takes some volume to do it then then so be it he, he definitely puts an emphasis on that and, and which manifests itself maybe in, in some volume. The, the other piece is he's just willing to challenge people. And, and I, I don't think that, that that can go unappreciated in a world where it's very easy to, you know, kind of, kind of run from, from what's hard. You know, he's, he, again, I think comes back to those relationships. I mean, I think I remember there was a group of underwater kick guys with him that were into how many underwater, you know, 25s we could do on the fastest possible interval. And I'm not even sure that came from him. I think it came from the athletes. You know, they were like, oh, we heard these guys over in, you know, at Stanford, we're doing this and we want to try it. And Troy's like, all right, you know, let's, let's get after it. So, you know, again, I think that goes back to the relationships that, that he has.